Total randoms. What I'm about to say is uh, pretty blasphemous. So I'm going to get straight to the point. Okay. Uh, do you know how absurd this shit is? Now, I'm sure you've seen tons of documentaries where they talk about this. Where they say uh, the distance between Cairo and the distance between Egypt is this sort of so 600 and something kilometers. And they'll tell you that it, it takes uh, about 7 hours 41 minutes to travel by car via the 500M, the 50M route to be precise. And it takes an hour and 35 minutes by flight. And it should approximately take you 128 hours on foot in order to get to Egypt, from Egypt to Israel, the promised land. It took Moses and Co. Apparently, even in the Bible, they taught Deuteronomy. I'm not sure what verse it is yet, but it's supposed to take seven days, apparently. But they took 40 years because they. This is what I heard from a friend. The reason why they took forever in such a short period of time is because God wanted to wipe out generations. Now, that's bizarre. I have no facts in this. It's just the guy who told me this. I was asking him a single question, a friend of mine. He was like, that, That's my opinion. I said, Okay. That, that's your opinion, I hear you. So, Badu said this is his opinion on this, and he laid it out to me. So, I took it. It sat on me a bit, and I thought about it. So, it, it, God waits for Moses, and all the 40 years, 40 years is a several generation. That means the people that actually walked the Red Sea, most of them are dead. And most of them are dead. Most of them are pissed, and those that are alive are actually pissed at Moses. They've been like, nigga, nigga, you were fine in Egypt. You, you, we didn't need to come to this shithole. That's my assumption. And, and my assumption would be that because of that, God was like, these niggas don't even deserve to be in the promised land. So he kills off all, he waits for all the bad eggs to cop a few of them to die, and then they cross over the promised land, which was, which was right there, like literally right there. Whatever. It was a crusade. It's supposed to take forever because they got cars, they got children. Long ass journey. Whatever. Them niggas were going around in circles. Okay. How do you take 40 years to go to somewhere that is 600 and something kilometers away from where you started? How does it take you 40 years if you go around in circles? And the problem is, it's not like the promised land was built. It's not like someone woke up in the morning and said, this is the promised land. Clearly, someone had to be like, this is the promised land. And along the journey, they, they worshipped for false gods. They did all types of shit. Whatever. I'm no expert. That could be true. So, logically, him going from Egypt to that doesn't make any sense. Logically, if, if it's going to take them 40 years to get there because maybe the promised land is not ready to receive them, well, they're not ready to receive the promised land. Why did they leave Egypt in the first place? They're in captivity. They're slaves. So they need to be free. Free in the wilderness where they kill each other and do heinous things to the point where Moses pulls out 10 commandments from who knows what. But out ten commandments that you people gotta live by. You get no beef from me. But hey, if that's the case, Mr. Reese, would you kindly tell us? I don't even know what I'm talking about. This, 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 this is total random, so I'm just chatting nonsense. It doesn't make sense to me, and it will never make sense to me. I dare you in the comment section to make it make sense to me. Make it make sense. So the Bible itself is, is, is a fictional book, by my opinion. Like I said, this finna be blasphemous, and this this this, this fucking this Bible that you go by, I'm finna go to hell. Like Jesus, as an infant, went to Egypt. 
It didn't take this nigga 40 years. It take Moses 40. Whatever. We're not even going to talk about Moses writing about the Bible while he was there. A bunch of other fluffs and shit. What we're going to talk about is the hypocrisy. So let me get this straight. The Jews don't believe in Jesus. Even though there's a bunch of books by them that talk about the Messiah. They say this nigga ain't the Messiah. They shunned him. They had him crucified by the Romans, the Palestinians, whatever you want to call them. The Romans get these niggas fucked up. And oddly enough, the people that conquered Israel, which, which, which are the Romans, they themselves end up having the oldest church in the history of living church, I'm not saying they're the first church, they're the oldest living church, Emperor Can- Can- Constantine, that's the nigga's name, they even had this nigga, now, Constantine, the emperor, who, who's rumored to have constructed this Jesus story, I don't know shit, man. I'm just looking around, and I, I stumbled across. 